What is up guys, Kevin here, I'm back with a brand new Red Dead Redemption 2 video and in today's video I'm going to take you guys on a secret treasure hunt that you may not know about. But before we get into that guys, at any point during this video, if you enjoy it, please drop a like down on it and comment down below what other stuff you want me to check out. And also, I'm kind of curious of how much money you guys actually have in game. If you did not cheat, let me know in the comments how much money you have. And of course, subscribe to the channel and let's get right on into it. Alright guys, so first things first, you want to come down to this cabin near Ansberg. So let me show you exactly where that's at. Open up the map right here. You want to go up to Reed Cottage um, right above Ansberg, right to the north of it. So just take a train here, take a stagecoach here, and literally just ride right up the road. And you'll be right here. This is where you got to go. So obviously, we're going to want to go inside and see what's cracking and lacking. So here it is. Now there's a little something special in this cabin. So let's search around for a bit, see what we find. Start looking through stuff. All right, can't search none of that. Can't search none of that. We we'll see, got some uh, stuff in this sink link right here. See what we got, boys. Oh, little crackers. I'm good on that. I'm good on crackers. A bunch of food and some miracle tonic if you guys need that as well. So your basic supplies. Now, quick tip: if you guys didn't know, you can actually use your eagle eye and you can see what is lootable and what's not lootable. You see how it flashes like that? Um. For some reason, there is one more lootable spot in here that you may not know about, and it does not flash. And uh, if you take a guess what that is, it actually is this fireplace right here. So what you do is you just come right up to it, and you can search it. Let's see what we got right here, boys. A little secret letter, sketched map. It's a little secret uh, map in here. Let's check out the map. Actually, let's take it outside so we can see this better. All right, guys. So here's the map. Um, when looking at it, there's, it's kind of just like it looks like a sketch. It's hard to tell what exactly this is. But if you look in the top left, you can see it says Ansberg, and it looks like it's pointing to the north of Ansberg, and some kind of lake or body of water. On the bottom right, it says 20 steps north and five steps east. Ansberg Elysium Pool. Okay, so that's where we have to go, I guess, guys. The Elysium Pool, the next stop. So we're going to head over there, and we're going to try to figure out where exactly this treasure is for you guys. This guy is still looking for Gavin? Please, come on. <laughs> where in the blazes are you? You ain't going to find Gavin, boy. Mister, listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I have not seen I your friend. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. The English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and... Uh, now I'm all alone. Gavin! Good luck. Gavin! Yeah, good luck with that, bud. You're screwed. Alright, guys, so we made it over to Elysium Pool, or however you say it, however you pronounce it. Now, if you look at our map here on the top left, we can see that there's a little river coming out of the uh, lake here, and it has a little circle mark, and that's exactly where I went to on the map. Let me show you guys. So we went right to that spot. Now, if we look in the bottom right of this map, we'll also see it's pointing at a tree, and it says 20 steps north and five steps east so once you see the tree with the x marks on it you know you're at the right spot and from here we're gonna walk 20 steps north which is this way and five steps east so let's do this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and five steps east this way one, two, three, four. Actually, you get to it even less than that. So here it is, boy. Right here under this rock, you should have a little inspect rock pop up. And uh, let's see what we got under here, boys. Let's check this out. Come on, give me the loot. Oh, oh, a little gold bar, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, a gold ingot. How much are? I'm not too sure how much gold ingots are. I only got. I think I got like one of them before. Uh, I'm not too sure what they cost, actually. So let's take this over to the fence, and we'll figure that out for you guys. So Emerald yeah. Ranch is pretty close by, so you can probably literally just ride there, and you'd be good. Oh, oh! Wasn't really paying attention. I saw on the map the little dotted line. I figured, oh, it's a little side trail. Yeah. Well, this might make it quicker. Hopefully, we spawn closer to Emerald Ranch. Well... Unfortunately, I actually spawned farther away from the ranch, and I lost my saddle. I don't know what horse this is or where this horse came from, but it was literally just chilling there when I woke up. So, hey, I'll take it. Uh, but I'm going to head on over there, guys, and let's see exactly how much money we get from this. If I remember correctly, it's around 
three hundred to four hundred dollars, something like that. But let's go find out the exact number. So while we're auto running over there, guys, let me know actually in the comments how many of you guys have actually finished Red Dead Redemption Two, the story. Um, I haven't went and completed it yet because I don't want to, you know, put any spoilers in the videos for you guys or too much at least. So I'm kind of curious, guys. Let me know if you guys actually completed the game. I'm thinking about doing this shortly here because there's some extra content uh, out there that I can make videos on, but I would have to progress in the story. But I don't want to spoil too much stuff. All right, so we finally made it after those uh, little mishaps, and I already know I'm going to hear, Oh, you're so bad at the game, dude. Yeah, well, at least I got the gold. That's all that matters. So let's see how much this thing costs. Remember let's talk to our good old beer, good old boy, Seamus. Yeah, it's been a while, bud. It's been a while. Oh, not sell. We we're gonna wanna. Uh, I mean, not buy. We're gonna wanna sell. Woo! Woo! You baby. Look like death warmed up. Let's see here. Where is it? Where is it? Gold ingot. Three hundred bucks. That is not bad compared to the gold bar, which is five hundred. Three hundred is not bad at all. A pretty simple treasure. There's only one map to it. You just get the map, go find the treasure. It takes. You could literally do this pretty quickly. So that is definitely worth your time, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sell. I'll sell it. Let's sell it. Can use a couple extra dollars and there you go boys the easy 300 bucks and easy gold do what you want with it and um take it as you please but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it drop a like down if you did comment down below some other cool stuff you want me to check out and how you're enjoying red dead and on top of that subscribe and i'll see you guys next time for a brand new video peace dudes